the, really the, the spark of the idea came from uh, uh, Peter Laird and I uh, formed a studio. We called it Mirage Studios because it was a mirage. It was our living room. Um, and we were teaming up on, um, you know, inking, penciling, painting, things, things, trying to get jobs from bigger companies. So one night we were kind of goofing around and, and I was a big fan of um, Bruce Lee. And I thought to myself, if Bruce Lee was an animal, what would be the silliest animal that he would be? <laughs> Fast moving martial artist, slow moving turtle. Um, made me laugh, it made Pete laugh. So we swapped a few sketches back and forth, you know, chuckling to ourselves the whole time. And that evolved into uh, a final sketch with four turtles. Uh, I did it in pencil. So I did the sketch of four turtles. Each of them had a different weapon. Uh, I had, had drawn in this comic booky kind of logo that had Ninja Turtles on the top. And then when Pete uh, did the inking on it, he added uh, Teenage Mutant to the title. And we looked at this and we go, this is the dumbest thing we've ever seen in our life. Um, instead of trying to sell it to another company, then we said, let's, let's borrow a little money, let's use all every penny we have in the bank, and let's uh, see how many copies we can print of issue one, uh, which was 3,000 copies. And, you know, we kind of assumed we probably wouldn't sell that many of them, but we had the best time ever writing uh, a comic book just for ourselves. The Turtles was written, you know, as a kind of comic book that we wanted to read, uh, that we thought would be fun. The fact that they're mutant turtles um, is interesting because it doesn't alienate any race, creed, or color. So it's like wherever you are in the world or, um, um, or the kind of person you are, then you can still say, hey, I could be Donatello or I could be Michelangelo or, or and so on and so forth. You can't tell a child what's cool and what's not. And the fact that we're here 30, almost 34 years later and this last generation, this uh, most recent generation of kids that's discovered the turtles and found something interesting and cool about them is even more mind-blowing if you will yeah. it's like so it's it, something clicked and they like it and i you know thank you and thank you you know comic-con to me is like summing up it's like the first time i brought somebody here um, it, it has happened a number of times over the years that had never that has never been here um and they just sort of walk around and they go you know the crawl the halls are crowded there's so much stuff going on but everybody in here is so happy this is like the happiest place on earth for so many people because, you know, depending on what your job is, wherever you live, you know, um, the everyday life that you have to go through and survive um, to, to pay your bills, to help, you know, uh, to, to raise your family, do these things. This is a really great place where you can celebrate all things, whether it's Doctor Who, Star Trek, Star Wars, um, Ninja Turtles, Walking Dead, and pretty much everything in between. And everybody's just so thrilled to be here and you just get uh, just a wonderful energy you know, when we come to these shows, it is, it's, um, I love to take a minute and, and thank them. So I wouldn't have such a cool job if not for them. Um, so I love the chance to, uh, to thank them for being a fan all these years and supporting the stuff that I do and giving me such a great job. And it doesn't take, you know, any time at all to have a few nice moments. And, and I, I enjoy it. It's, 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 it's pretty special.